Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Medieval City. Before we start on the blacksmith today, I want to answer a couple of questions that people have had in the comments section. First one being, and the most common one being, I don't think you've got a big enough area to build a city in AJ. I think the area is too small. Now that's something that I've thought of. And it's something that I disagree with. I think it's something that a lot of people overlook when they want to build their own city in Minecraft. They either open up a giant super flat world or they open up a giant plains area that's further than the render distance can see. And I made the same mistake with the original Let's Build a City world back on Xbox. You have this giant area and you go, right, this is all going to be a magnificent city. I'm going to build a house over there. And then you build a beach over there. And then you build a factory over there and an airport over there. And you join them up with some roads and then suddenly it becomes very overwhelming very quickly and you don't know how you're going to fill up the rest of the areas you know how am i going to what am i going to put here how am i going to fill this up what's going to go in the middle here which is why the new city that we're building that we're nearly 200 episodes into is an island because you can always extend out and you can do more islands but you know the area that you can fill you know where you're going to build certain things you know it's easier to lay it out which is why we've gone with this area here sure if we run out of room i can always go out a little bit further the other reason is I want the buildings to be really close together. I want this to be a really compact city. So when we're walking along the path like a civilian would be, it looks really full. And the easiest way to accomplish that is by having all the buildings really close together. Like, like literally like one or two blocks separating one house from the next. It'll look a lot fuller. It'll look a lot more complete a lot faster. And it's not as overwhelming like I said. The second question is, are you going to be doing everything on camera like you have so far? Because, I mean, I could cut away now and I could finish off these walls and finish off the staircase and do all the terrain so it's all nice and flat for us to be able to build on. I could change the stone from there up to grass uh, and make it look really nice to begin with. I could do that and I might do that later on in the series. I don't know. I want to try not to, though. The main you know nearly 200 episodes in let's build the city world is for that kind of stuff where we do a lot of cutaway stuff because it's a large project uh, with this series i want to keep everything on camera because that way unlike the let's build the city world i don't get questions like how did you build the island how did you do that how did you terrain this what did you use for that because everything's going to be on camera if you miss a couple of episodes and you come back you can just go back and see how i built it and see how i done that bit and how did I make that wall? Where did I start with this? So by doing everything on camera, you don't miss anything. And it's a lot easier to build along at home. There are the questions for today. If you have any more, let me know in the comment section below. This is a perfect series to leave comments in uh, about, you know, medieval stuff and city building. Because, uh, I don't know, it's just a nice area for us to be able to talk about it in. So, blacksmith. I like to have the blacksmith near the entrance of a city. I don't like to have it in the middle. I don't know why. It's just personal preference. We could do it in the middle, but I like to have it just out at the beginning here. Similar to how it is in, in uh, White Run, actually, isn't it? You know, White Run, you come uh, in Skyrim, you come in the city, and it's the first building on the right. It's going to be the same here. That's not really intentional. But we're going to be building our blacksmith off River Run because I think it's a nicer shaped blacksmith for what we want to have here. So I've already got some blocks here. We're going to grab some cobblestone as a foundation. We're not going to do a, the straw roof like it has in River Run because obviously we're very inner city. We're going to go with a nice dark roof like the cathedral has or the church. Church, cathedral, I don't know why I keep calling it. I'm going to flick them between the two. So let's think about a floor plan. Let's turn the shaders off here. Let's think about a floor layout. What we want to have is we want to have an area that you step up into. So we're going to need, I don't know, let's grab some. Uh, oak stairs I think we'll have as like a base here so we'll have a nice area that you can walk up into three blocks wide seems about right I'll have to change that out for planks as well and then this is going to be the foundation of of the building uh, we might change these up a little bit I don't know I don't know yet so let's have that over here we could also have another staircase or little steps going up there if we wanted to we could you know change those to those have that on there change that to two wide so it gives a little bit more of a space between it i think that's about right there we'll drop this back have it nice and deep enough for a building to be on it something like that maybe it's a little bit too big i don't know with that and that yeah i think there we'll drop it down by one block uh the building itself is going to finish up i don't know about here for the moment we'll just keep it all cobblestone and then it's going to come off the side here uh I'm going to build that over by one or by two even. We'd have it like that. Changing our minds here and there. 
and then this will come back here and this is going to be where the forge is and to make it a little bit of design i'm going to bring it in by one block like that so it's not the same as where the house is going to be okay so now we've got the blueprint on let's put where the house is going to go we want to have uh, a nice sort of walkway two block wide walkway pathway there along the front uh i want to have that lined up with the staircase along here and this is going to be the house probably shouldn't have built that out of cobblestone but it doesn't matter it's just giving me an idea on where certain parts are going to go i think that's a good start i think that's where we're going to go with so let's start putting down the groundwork now so we want the path like we said to be two blocks wide i think i'm going to change up this cobblestone here to some sort of log we can do it like that we can have these along the side there it's really nice because this city is completely different to our modern city isn't it you know our modern city is very new blocks and this is all very wood and cobblestone so it's a really nice sort of contrast between the two uh the house itself i think we need to make out of spruce wood we'll have some maybe some darker logs as well going up to differentiate between the path and the house so i have something like this oops like that i've got puppies barking in the background too i've got some puppies by the way guys i don't know if i've told you yet in fact i've got two new puppies one of my dogs died i don't think i ever told you that either one of my dogs died recently so we we, we got a couple more more puppies uh to uh to fill the void a little bit not to replace the one that died but just to fill up the empty space we had it was a uh, very sad but oh well moving on stair now you guys are all up to date put a stair in there nice little window that door is way too big why are we going with two by three doors like we do on the other city world we don't need to we can go with thinner door or normal size doors you know two by ones i think suits this scale that we're using in this city a little bit better uh let's knock these out and knock those out we'll keep the cobblestone foundation here because i think it's going to look really nice the actual river run one the river run city or, or blacksmith sorry uh has a wooden base because it's sort of built on on like uh near the river so well yeah near a river hence hence river run <laughs> um but because we're sort of in the middle of, of just land here uh we're going to do a cobblestone base as well uh, instead of a wooden one let's just move that out a little bit so it doesn't have a one block thing so it look ugly i think we'll leave a cobblestone edge around here because we don't want you know uh, logs there we don't want it to burn i know we've got a, a wooden plank floor but i don't think we can set fire to this i think we'll be able to build it in a way that it doesn't set fire to it okay i think that's pretty good i can already start to see how it's gonna go uh let's finish off the uh the house here so we don't want no windows on this side so we can just block that up on this side we can have a little window in we'll just put the perimeter around first uh and then let's have a window we can do one like that or we can do one like that and have like a small little window in there and a larger one to the side i guess nice design and then on this side Let's put one window just off to the side. Just a small little tiny one like that. We don't want too many windows. If you put too many windows in, it looks too weird, I think. We're going with like little one windows as well in this city instead of big windows. Really weird how the scale is very different in this city as it is compared to our modern city. Already we're starting to see uh, a lot of sort of differences. All right. I need to put some logs in here to hold the roof up. We're just going to break into the cobblestone where we need. That one. That one that one and that one is a minimum and i might put some more logs in uh, at a later date like yeah probably actually one in the middle here that goes up a little bit taller okay so you can start to see the frame working uh same as over here we're going to want to have uh, where's my log this one going up there going up there and there i think will look nice we'll leave this side open though that's too high okay and then the roof itself we need slabs these dark ones we're going to be using as most of the roofs in the city uh most of the houses and stuff are going to be made out of this this dark oak for for the roofs that way they all match we might do some some straw ones here and there uh, but not too many of them okay i don't want to overhang over this walkway all the way so we're gonna leave it like that then we're gonna come up by a slab 
some nice low roof in here. And again on this one. Nope, there. And that one. And then the roof to the actual house is going to start. So we're going to go with, uh, we can probably put the stairs on here, in fact. Overhang it by one. Like that. The same on this side. But on this side, we can drop it down by one block as well. Because we don't have the, um, the pathway in the way. Like that. Uh, up here we need to start doing some some more designing so what we're going to do is we're going to put logs along this way yeah on that one i think and up there and then we fill those in like that okay same on this side put the logs in nice dark colors like that and like that like we could go crazy if you wanted to we could put logs along here and sort of make it look like there's beams on the inside that would be really cool to do that one that one that one and build it like an actual sort of house would be you know how, how they would build them back then put these on here down this side and the tricky part of going along <laughs> also doing beams on the inside like we have there uh makes it really fun to put torches uh torches really work when you've got something to place them on instead of the normal way the standard way of just using uh sticking them on the wall we get to actually place them on beams and, and all that kind of stuff uh makes it a lot more interesting of interiors a lot more fun to build as well i don't like building interiors but i think medieval ones i don't mind doing as much uh, because there's just more that you can do with it minecraft uh, obviously sways a lot more towards being built in medieval style than it does in a modern style which is why we don't need to change any sort of textures and stuff to build this uh, medieval city but in the uh, uh in, in the modern city we had to change a lot of textures to make it work okay and those under there that one under there and then these ones going up the side all right so there is the house that all the blacksmiths you know home and then we need this part off here with the lighter wood to accent it. Um, I think I'm going to stick with dark oak though as the roof. But I'm going to make it a lot shallower than what it is on in River Run itself. I'm going to drop them down so it goes up every slab. So we're going to have it like that. And like that. Oh, it still joins up. Beautiful. And this one. We're just going to keep going up layer by layer until we get to the uh, center pillar. So why you always want to make sure that you've got odd numbers um, for buildings because it makes roofs just a lot more easier. That one along the top. And we start dropping it down again. Notice how this is the, this part is off center to the house as well. That's deliberate. So when we look at this, the the blacksmith from sort of this angle. You see like little parts of the roof like that. It just makes it a little bit more interesting. That one. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm going to move that in. I think I'm going to move that in as well. Like that. I think that looks a lot better. There we go. And we didn't get in the way of any other blocks. It's a little bit of luck really. Put these on here so it looks a little bit thicker. And there we go. Already, I think that looks like a really nice looking building just straight away fence place the fence around like so there we go so you can't you know i don't know a bit more privatized isn't it uh we'll have it along the front here as well and down the side i'd rather the wood over the cobblestone walls because i think we'll be using cobblestone walls um in other areas with some logs maybe not there see that would look good but it's too high i think this is too low though isn't it yeah it feels a little bit tight doesn't it down there i don't know maybe i can go along the top instead then and do them that way oh wrong way now does that look odd I, what if I joined it up like that? Now it shouldn't look too odd from the outside. I can't get through there because of the fences. <laughs> Should have put the fences in last. I think that's better. 
I think that works. Yeah, nice, nice interior here. I think it looks pretty realistic. Um, buttons, grab some wooden buttons for some like dowels to hold stuff up. And you just put these on any connections. You can't really see them too much. I don't think we really have, even have that many. I'll put them on there as well. I don't think I want them on those ones though because the slabs sort of cover them up. Maybe we could put them on the, no, I can't put them on the side either. No, nope, it's fine like that. We're good. All right, um, on the inside here, we want the forge. Now, a normal Minecraft blacksmith has like a forge using a furnace. I'm not going to do that. Instead, we're going to use stone bricks and stone brick slabs, maybe some stone brick slabs, uh, stairs and slabs like this. And we're going to do the Skyrim one, which is sort of a round one instead. You sort of see these a little bit more commonly. Um, we can either do it around like that one or we can do a square one by using upside down stairs. We'll just keep it with upside down stairs. Take that away. Take that one away. It's really tough. Is that right? No, it's not. <laughs> Let's go from the front here. Uh, so, so compact. Uh, okay, so there we go. Like that. Maybe I should have moved it over. But should I move it in by one block? Maybe I should. And I should get it up against the, um, sort of up against the fence there. It's nice because the uh, stairs don't connect to the fences. So that's, that's sort of a handy bonus. Like that. And change the bottom out for that. Now I, I want to, I want to put lava in. However, we'll set fire to everything unless we put a slab or something over the top so we're going to go with glowstone instead okay uh, and then that way it sort of looks a little bit magma -y. i mean we could change the texture to look like uh, a magma block um i don't have magma blocks because this is 1.7 obviously because i'm using world edit i should really just get a newer world edit version um but maybe we'll change that texture maybe we'll do one texture change and change that to like a lavery looking block or like coals you know red hot coals it's already nearly there it's just changing the color of it uh, a grind wheel, I don't really know uh, how to do yet. We'll just put an anvil down. We'll use a normal vanilla anvil. There. We'll need a cauldron to be able to quench uh, some of the swords and stuff. Should move it over by one. I think that's a much better place for us to have it. Yep, I think that's pretty good. Uh, what else? I'm just looking, trying to look on the picture. They have a workbench over here as well. How could we do that? Stairs. And slab. I mean, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Torches. We'll just put one there. You don't want too many of these. You just want to place them in, in really strategic sort of spots. Like that. Yeah, just here and there. Just so it gives a nice sort of level of light. Glass. White stained glass. Could go with brown or black to give it a dirty feel. But I think we want to keep with a, a clean-ish looking city. There. And there. And a door. I mean, I could use modern doors. Couldn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why not? We've got them. Why not use them? Wrong way. That way round. Beautiful. Okay. I think that's a pretty good start. That's all we've got time for today. It's definitely not finished. We can definitely put a lot more work into this. But for now, I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. If you guys enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you want anything, feel free to subscribe. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye.